I see one whole chaps and chap, it's game chap and birdie here. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellows. And I dare say we are now presenting here at the top five list of rarest or most expensive Nintendo games. We most certainly are. Yes, indeed. Now, these are the top five super rare games. They happen to be, I believe, on the NES. Uh, Nintendo Entertainment System mm. or Famicom in Japan. That's right. Uh, firstly, here we have the honorable mention of uh, the 1992 NES game or NES <laughs> game, Cheetah Men 2. Yes. Now, this is Cheetah Men 2, an honorable mention here as you say. Yes. 1992 it came out. Now there are only 1500 cartridges known to exist. My goodness, that, that, that's game. rare. I have to say that's oh, it's rare. it's very rare, yes indeed. Now apparently these cartridges were found in a warehouse in about 1997 and they were sold on the secondary market. Now their value these days is apparently in the thousands of dollars. Most certainly, yes indeed. Very interesting there. Someone was in a warehouse somewhere, maybe, you know, old stock or whatever of games found these in there, put them on the old market there, and sold them for thousands, as you say. Maybe. Or somehow acquired the cartridges. We don't exactly know how they did well, maybe that. They, maybe they half edged them. Uh, well, we, we don't, don't know. know. But one thing we can say for sure, Cheat Em In 2 is unquestionably one of the worst games ever made, and as you can see, well, it's just plain awful, old chap. It well, really is bad. Well, yes, we're actually endeavouring to show you some of these games here. Yes. Um, uh, you know, <laughs> from our collection. Uh, well, not uh, quite. It, it, it can't actually be completed. Can you believe that, Hillblade? Well, it can't be completed, This game no. cannot be beaten, because it has a bug in the original game, which really? means you can't get past the second boss. So very how about that? Well, that's very interesting thing. Oh, I, I died there. Well, never mind. Um, anyway, of course, we move on, Fadels, here to number five number in our list. Five. This is a 1987 game, Stadium Events. Right, indeed. Yes, Stadium Events. Now, as you say, they're a 1987 game on the NES. That's the USA version of this right. game. Now, it was recalled just after release, because the Nintendo converted it into a first-party title. Did they? I see. They most certainly did. Now, perhaps, apparently, there were as many as 2,000 copies in the first run before the recall, uh, but apparently, as low as 200 copies actually made it home to console owners. Exactly. Now, this game is so rare and valuable as such that a sealed copy in 2010 made over $41,000. $41,000 in 2010? And that's on, a lot of money. It's a lot of money on eBay, actually. That's right. And, of course, the reason being, even though those 2,000 initial came out, only 200, as you say, got actually to the console owners. That's so right. if you've got one of these on your shelf, you better get out there quickly. Hmm. I mean, we're sort of doing a game jam, Bertie Cash in the Attic sort of thing. Cash aren't we? and bargain hub. That's right. Yes, no, in the boot. Exactly. This game values. If you have Cash a sealed, on the shelf. if you have a sealed copy, needless to say, hmm. it's worth a lot of money. Five figures. So that's just right. how rare this game is, and it's not even the rarest game on our list, old boy. Uh, most certainly, it isn't. No, and uh, it's sort of rather fun to play, actually. Actually, it's not not bad. I have to say, old chap. It really is. Run, little man, along, and then do the jumping and all the rest of it. Indeed. Now, the next game on our list, videos. Uh, this is uh, this game will be over shortly, I'm sure. Is in fact the nine. 1990 release, Nintendo World Championships, the Gold Cartridge Edition. Uh, most certainly. Now, this is a very interesting game here, here we coming go. up now. Here it is. That's As right. Say, 1990 game here, once again, NES. And of course, this was the Gold Cartridge. Now, that's a little bit special because this one was coloured gold. I mean, it wasn't made of gold, I don't think. No, not solid gold. It was sort of coloured gold to make it look special, a bit special at the time. That's now, right. only 26 of these particular games or game cartridges were made. Made. Really? Only 26 gold exactly. cartridges in no. existence. Now there's also a grey version, I think there's about a hundred of those made, so slightly less rare, but these cartridges were given to the winners and the runners-up of the 1990 Nintendo World Championships Tournament. And ah. you may recall, actually, at E3 2015, yeah. they had another Nintendo World Championships, which mm. was like a bit of a, I don't know, a sort of tribute to the past, I suppose. But this particular game, in this game, you had to play Super Mario Bros. Rad Racer and and one other game being Tetris. Very interesting, yes indeed, they brought it up again there. But as we said there, only 26 of these original ones were made. And of course, when you take into account, you know, the ones that got chewed by the dog and thrown away and used as a doorstop, etc. Well, exactly. Because they didn't know what they were worth at the time, and whatever. Um, you will probably, most likely, definitely have less than 26 left now. Now, as everyone's saying, well, what's it worth? Exactly. Well, apparently, these value in the region of, get ready, 33. Thousand US dollars. Thirty thousand dollars. My word, that's quite a price for this. I it have is. to say, but it was, and uh, needless to say, the gameplay in this particular game was very, very challenging because you had about six minutes and twenty-one seconds back in the old days to collect fifty coins in Super Smash Brothers to complete a course in Rad Racer and to get the highest 
score possible in Tetris. Most certainly. So a bit of a triathlon game there. Uh, yes. Um, and, you know, yes. And I, I, I just actually... Oh, oh dear. Well, oh, never, never mind. Never mind. Um, anyway, uh, there you are, winners. And, of course, as I say, the fortunate winners of the tournament were given the gold cartridge, whereas the runners-up got the grey one. But either way, it's worth a lot of money and very rare. Exactly. So if you're at a boot sale or what do they call them, a garage sale or something in the USA, and you see one of these, those in a box, quickly get it out. You better scarf it up. That's right. And then I, I just have to say, how many, or how much, rather, will these rare games be worth in the future, old boy? Well, exactly. The price just goes up and up and up, I suppose. It does. And, of course, I'm sure there are also many rare titles on the SNES or SNES platform as well as the N64 but this particular video focuses on the rarest of the rare on the NES and of course worth the most money as such. Indeed most certainly does so shall we move on to number three? We shall indeed as you can see the time is up there on the Nintendo World Championships gold cartridge so now we move on to the 1986 game get ready for this it's the Legend of Zelda but not the one you know. No, no, no. This, this is, is a, a special one. This is a special cartridge. Now, this is a Legend of Zelda, all right, but it's a test cartridge. Now, oh. this test cartridge is yellowish in colour, not gold. I see. So we have a sort of a different colour on this cartridge. It so, is actually a prototype cartridge, which wasn't supposed to be released to the public. It was supposed to be only for Nintendo's internal use. But actually, somehow, some of these prototype carts got out, and now apparently there's only, only very, very few left, old boy. Uh, most certainly. Now, apparently, as you say... Um, there's very few left and uh, the word is that there are less than 25 copies of this prototype in existence My as we speak. goodness me, that's and only 25 copies of, of fewer well, that's, Exactly. That's, that's a mind-boggling small number, Elbow. Exactly, in the world. So yes. think about that and of course um, that means when it's, there's not many of them, it means it's very, very rare. And I do mean very rare and this is a special one. Yes. Because the asking price of this game, get ready for this and sit down if you have to, is usually over. One hundred thousand dollars! There's no way that could be right, old chap. Oh, yes, yes. Are you sure? Yes, when these little babies come out on the market, people start dipping their hands in their pockets. Well, deep, and I it's over hundred grand. Perhaps it's because this is a prototype of the first Zelda game ever made, and therefore it yes. has a very, very collectible interest there, just for well, that reason alone. So, and it, yes, it goes to show it's a hot interest in the gaming collectible market as well. Well, indeed, Fadel. So they are, that is a very, very rare cartridge there. The Legend sure. of Zelda test cartridge. Needless to say, if you do have one of these, you could be worrying in pots and pots of cash. Exactly, yes, indeed. Someone says, well, that's the exact what I've been using. My door stop for that. I didn't realize. Well, that's Please right. Give me that. Get it on eBay fast. Who's that? Old chap, that's that Mega Man. Over there is indeed a Mega Man, yes, it is. That's right, and we're moving on, Vanille, to number two on our list here, number which two. is the Rockman 4 Gold Cartridge. This was a Japanese release. It's a Japanese release, most certainly was Rockman 4 1991 on the NES. Now, guess this. Or the Famicom, actually. Well, but, okay, yes, that's yeah. right. But just, just listen to this. Only eight of these were made. Eight? Just there's that only all? eight of these eight. were ever made. Let's see, this is super rare, and it, it lists on top five lists. It's not necessarily the amount they're worth, put the scores in the top it's five. It's the rarity it's as the well. Rarity. There That's was right. only eight of these chaps ever made. So this game, Rockman 4 or Mega Man 4 over here, is in fact one of the rarest carts in existence because the gold edition of the cart, not the standard one, the gold edition is actually so rare that there are only eight of them in circulation, exactly. or perhaps even less if, as Buddy says, they've been used as doorstops or dog chew toys. Well, exactly, yes, indeed. Of course, this is, of course, a Japanese game rather That's right. than, uh, you know, in North American English, whatever you like to call it, European, whatever. Right. But he said, only eight made. Now, what you, everyone's asking, well, how much is it worth? Well, one was seen for sale in 2012. Yes. Um, Realising $8,000. $8,000. I yes, think that indeed. was the asking price. And to my knowledge, that was actually spotted in a Japanese game store. So how about that? Uh, most certainly, yes, indeed. Very interesting. A Japanese game store out there somewhere. Someone had it in the front of his shop there with a big price tag on it. Obviously knows what it's worth. The big shiny gold cartridge. That's right. Once again, an absolute rarity here. For oh, yes. Yeah. Only eight in existence, and uh, it just goes to show that just because a, a, a game is not necessarily Mario does not mean it's not worth a lot of money, old boy. Uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, of course, with the Japanese side of things, if you know a little bit about collectibles, certainly in this part of the world, as we do, often Japanese releases are perhaps uh, cheaper in value when it comes to rarity in, in terms of what it's worth yes. than the uh, you know the American or English or European versions. But even so, worth eight thousand dollars. And you may say, why are we playing Doctor Mario here? Well, I'll tell you why. This is in fact number one on our list. Get ready. Ready for this one. It's number one fanfare time. <laughs> this is the 1991 Nintendo Campus Challenge. The Nintendo Campus Challenge. Uh, that's not the Nintendo Campus Challenge. That these uh, these three games you are seeing here, Fanny, <laughs> being Dr. Mario, Pinbot, and one other, are in fact comprising the Nintendo Campus Challenge. Now, buddy, ah. what exactly is so rare about this game? 
Well, uh, when you said that, just to clear things up, so this is still one game. It was still one game, yes, but like that's three right. games on one. The yeah? three games were part right. of the challenge, that's okay, right. Okay, so this is part of the challenge. It was called Nintendo Campus Challenge on the NES, bought out in 1991, as you say. Now, rarity, yes, let's get into that. This is a rare game. Right. Now, let me explain. Mostly all of these games, I'm talking about all of them, were destroyed. Destroyed? The absolute do, destroyed. Do you know why they were destroyed, old chap? It's oh, because my. this game was was a, a part of a special promotion Nintendo did for quite some time, whereby they gave the game cartridges to university students to play and compete to win prizes. It was like a sort of a university challenge thing, if you would, so, old boy. But yes. in this particular case, once the event was over, nearly all of the carts were destroyed. Can they you believe most, that? Most certainly were. So the thing is in question is now, so how many are left? And this is the thing where people just sit there looking at their computer listening and sort of just go oh, like that, you see? Exactly. Because apparently there is only one known to exist in the whole, on the whole planet. One! There is only one known to exist. Perhaps a few more may remain, but if they do, no one's ever seen them. There's only one to exist. That's right. No. One of these Nintendo Campus Challenge carts is known to exist. Yeah. It's, I believe, the property of a Nintendo employee or an ex-employee. So the value of this priceless rarity is unknown. We, well, we don't know how much it's worth. Exactly. So if you've got this, if you just had one somewhere just by chance, whatever, just in your wardrobe or on your shelf or Send something. Send it to us, please. We'll take rich. very good care of it for you. Yes, we look up. Yes, yes. <laughs> you are rich, rich, rich. Because yes. now... How rich are you? That's the question. Exactly, how rich? Well, the thing is, what's it worth? Well, here we go. The value of this cartridge is unknown. That's right. As I say, it's completely unknown. unknown. Because how could you put a price on the, something that's unique? The, exactly. The market has never been tested because it's never... It, well, there's, there's, nothing, there's none to come to the market. Well, look, so it's a sort of thing that if it does come to the market, yes. there's some could... I mean, it could even go to seven figures. Well, I don't know. You see, right now, I think the market stands at this this position. I think it could easily realise over a hundred thousand US dollars, so, and perhaps in the years to come, when the markets are matured slightly, and perhaps these games are older and therefore more valuable, indeed, it could certainly go into the millions of dollars. I think, old boy. Exactly. So these are, I mean, this one in particular, extremely rare. Yes. And the other certainly very rare, rare games. That has indeed, fellows, been Game Chap and Bertie's presentation of the top oh, five yeah. rarest and most valuable Nintendo games, plus the cheat into there as the extra one. We hope yes. you enjoyed this rather interesting insight into what's rare and what's not in the world of Nintendo. And, uh, well, I, I I just wish I had one of those cards, old chap. Most certainly. Oh, yes, indeed. Thank you, Miss Johnny, for joining us, I say. And we look forward to seeing you once more on the next Tidy Out of My Word. We do.